Today, we'll learn how to create and edit custom dashboards from within Cloud Radial. Dashboards are a fantastic way to visualize data for your clients so you can present information in a more digestible way. To start, we'll navigate over to Account and Dashboards on the left-hand side of the Feature set. In this demo account, you can see that we've got a lot of different dashboards on display. You can create multiple different types and flip through them as you like using these tabs at the top. In this case, we're in the Compliance dashboard and we can see a bunch of different compliance information. But if we switch to another dashboard, like the service dashboard, we can see all the information relevant to it in this view. Let's see how to create a custom dashboard and let's take a look at what you can put into it. I'll start by clicking on the Add Dashboard button at the top right of the screen. Then the system is going to prompt me to fill in a few fields. First off, the name of the dashboard. I'll leave this one as is with New Dashboard as the name. Next, the description. It doesn't really need one, but it can be helpful for you to understand what's in this dashboard if you've got a lot of different types. After that, there's a display option field. This is to choose exactly where it fits in the order on the top tabs. In this case, I'll make it my ninth dashboard. Then I can also choose the icon that goes with it. In this case, this is fine since it's just an example, but we can customize this to whatever we like. In our blank dashboard, we'll now click on edit at the top right. A panel called Dashboard Elements will open up. You can see that there are various widgets, and they're broken down by category, with each one giving you a brief description of what it pulls through. It goes without saying, but the more data you have in Cloud Radial, the more useful dashboards get. Of course, you've also got the option to use an HTML widget to iframe other things outside of Cloud Radial into your dashboard. Don't forget about this one, as it can be really useful. Now, I'll go ahead and add a couple of different widgets so we can see what it looks like when we build it into the dashboard. As I add these widgets, you'll notice that the dashboard's automatically going to resize itself to fit in all of the data. Once I'm done adding these widgets, I can go to the very top and click on the X button to close out of the dashboard's element menu. You can always click on the arrow button at the top right to expand the dashboards into a new page for easier viewing. Massing over the data within the widgets themselves gives you more insight into what they're pulling through. For example, in this Ticket History widget, we can see a couple of the tickets that are coming through month over month. If we need to get more details on this data, as well as finding out where exactly Cloud Radial is pulling it from, we can click on the information symbol by the name of the widget, denoted by the tiny i. Now, let's take a look at the widget's options for each widget. We can check these out with the three dots on the top right of each one of them. The first settings option allows us to rename the widget to whatever we like. The second info option shows us what information the widget is pulling and when it was last updated. The third planner option adds a copy of the chart to the planner as well as any relevant information. For more information on this planner and how to use it efficiently within Cloud Radial, check out our planner video. I've linked it in the description below. The fourth refresh option refreshes the data to ensure it's pulling the latest and greatest. The dashboards update automatically, but a manual refresh is good to have just in case you just change data and need to ensure it's coming through. And lastly, remove. It's, well, delete. No surprises there. So that's dashboards in a nutshell. To save time and keep things consistent, you can also create a set of dashboards and deploy them across all of your clients like most things in Cloud Radio. Let's navigate to Partner on the left-hand side of the Feature Sets and Content to demonstrate. Let's add a new content package. We'll click on Add at the top right of the screen. For content type, we'll select Dashboards. We can treat this just like any other content package, so we can choose what user groups and company groups see this content from here too. Just like our previous example, in which we were creating dashboards localized just to one company, creating them from partner content allows you to distribute them out to multiple companies. So, if we add a new dashboard from this folder, we can see a very similar menu. We can lay out the name, description, icon, and display order, just like before, and with the layout option, we can actually choose what widgets go into this dashboard. Once we're happy with our dashboard templates, we can deploy them, and they'll fill in with each individual company's data at runtime. Be sure to experiment with dashboards to build beautiful data visualizations that give your clients better visibility into your services.